The $13 billion American USS Ford Supercarrier is the world's largest, most expensive, and most powerful aircraft carrier. The 100,000-ton carrier packs greater air power than the entire Air Force of at least 60 nations, can run for 25 years without refueling, and is protected by an endless inventory of inbuilt defenses, along with an armada of 10 or more cruisers, destroyers, frigates, and sometimes a submarine or two. Yet China can destroy it in a single strike. This is the extent of the power of the Chinese hypersonic missiles, and understandably, it's a problem for the U.S. Navy. One that can't be ignored, especially since China isn't hiding the fact that its hypersonic weapons are designed specifically to repel American ships. One of the country's weapons testing sites tucked away in the Taklamakan Desert has full-size mock-ups of U.S. aircraft carriers that it uses for target practice. To defend its fleet against possible attacks from these Chinese hypersonic missiles, the U.S. Navy has turned to high-power lasers armed with hundreds of millions of dollars of investment funds to ensure that American laser weapons triumph over Chinese hypersonic missiles as tensions continue to rise between the two countries. China is positioning itself as the most consequential rival to the United States. Both its economy and military are growing at exponential rates, and so a war between both nations could send shockwaves around the world. Despite this possible widespread impact, a U.S.-China war isn't exactly far from impossible. Tensions riddle the relationship between the two world powers, particularly as a result of China's undying wish to absorb Taiwan into its territory and the U.S.'s unrelenting desire to ensure Taiwan remains a free state. U.S. President Joe Biden even went as far as signing a defense spending bill including up to $10 billion in assistance for Taiwan. In addition to Taiwan, China also claims sovereignty over nearly all of the South China Sea, extending thousands of miles from its own shores. However, international law, enforced by the U.S., recognizes territorial claims only 12 nautical miles offshore. These territorial lines remain heavily disputed, so much so that it appears the only thing preventing China from taking a more explosive aim at foreign movement in these regions is America's naval presence. President Biden has also become increasingly forthright, saying that the U.S. would intervene should China mount an unprovoked attack on American allies. But perhaps the biggest American revolt against China's claims is former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's recent visit to Taiwan, despite China's clearly expressed displeasure. And it was clearly expressed indeed. In fact, during the visit, China fired a DF-17 missile only 75 miles from Taiwan in what was referred to as a test. Outside China's shores, this test was more of a message and a reminder of what China's military capabilities had grown into as the DF-17 is internationally recognized as the poster missile of China's hypersonic missile prowess. The DF-17 and the Xinkong-2 are China's two main hypersonic missiles. The DF-17 was officially unveiled on October 1, 2019, along with its dedicated hypersonic glide vehicle warhead the DFZF. Combined, these two make quite a lethal team. The DF-17, which has been flight tested by China seven times with a 100% success rate, has demonstrated a high degree of accuracy. A U.S. government official attested to this, stating that a test DF-17 warhead once struck within meters of its intended target. The DFZF hypersonic glide vehicle can be used for both nuclear weapons delivery and precision strike conventional missions and when in flight, it can perform extreme maneuvers and evasive actions. This in-flight maneuverability, not its blurry speeds, is what makes this weapon truly something to worry about. In fact, it is what separates a hypersonic missile from a missile traveling at hypersonic speeds, as maneuverability makes weapons significantly more difficult to intercept by even the most advanced air defense systems. All of the world's ICBMs travel at hypersonic speeds, some as high as Mach 23, but they're not considered hypersonic missiles because they can't maneuver. Instead, they travel in a predictable parabolic path that makes them easier to be intercepted and defended against. While Russia also possesses hypersonic missiles, China's arsenal worries the U.S. Navy the most. Their DF-17 is a 36-foot-long, 33,000-pound weapon that can fly as high as 197,000 feet at Mach 5-plus speeds to take out targets 1,600 miles away. 
Their less renowned second hypersonic missile, the Xing Kong 2, has a flight ceiling of 98,000 feet, a top speed exceeding Mach 6, and a maximum operational range of 6,200 miles. The Xing Kong 2, also known as the Sky Star 2, flies similarly to the DFZF. It is attached to a booster rocket that shoots a later release maneuverable warhead into Mach 5 plus speeds. The Xing Kong 2, however, comes with the added bonus of being a wave rider. A wave rider is any flight vehicle that rides its own shock waves for greater lift, less drag, greater range, and overall improved performance. During its first flight test on August 3, 2018, the Xing Kong 2 would demonstrate these advancements and more that had gone into it. After it was launched from a target range located in northwest China, the missile autonomously flew to its flight ceiling, achieved hypersonic speeds, maneuvered, and reached its target, all in less than 10 minutes. The test was a complete success, and if that was an actual combat situation with the USS Gerald Ford as the target, there would be no stopping this missile. The supercarrier would be swimming with the sharks in no time. For this reason, the USS Gerald Ford must be upgraded to wield laser defense systems and become what we'll refer to as the Laser USS Gerald Ford. No matter how fast missiles currently are or get in the future, the US Navy is expecting its laser weapons to burn them out of the sky. And this isn't far-fetched. Lasers are a form of light and therefore travel at a speed of 186,000 miles per second, the fastest anything can move in the universe. So compared to lasers, hypersonic missiles move slower than a turtle on land and can therefore catch up with them with ease. In addition to this, Lasers come with the benefit of an unlimited magazine as long as there's a connected power source. And with a Ford powered by the most powerful engines ever installed on a ship, two A1B reactors that can keep the Ford running for 25 years without refueling, laser weapons will have access to more power than they could ever need. To top it all off, lasers come with an unimaginably low cost of fire when compared to air defense missiles, which are the next best thing. Each laser shot costs $1 to $10 to take out targets, a tiny fraction of the $1 million to $10 million that air defense missiles cost. This economic cost is a major advantage for the US Navy, especially when going up against an economically near-peer adversary like China. With the benefits confirmed, it was time to build a laser weapon that could be fitted on the USS Ford, one that's capable of taking out hypersonic missiles from the sky. And for the US Navy, this meant building a series of laser weapons one after the other, increasing their power ratings every step of the way. In 2014, the first of these weapons was finished and ready for sea trials. It was the 33-kilowatt ANSEQ-3 laser weapon system, also known as LAWS. LAWS was tested twice from the forward deck of the amphibious transport ship USS Ponce. The results were encouraging and research furthered on. This resulted in a second, stronger laser weapon known as the High Energy Laser with Integrated Optical Dazzler and Surveillance System, or Helios for short. Helios is a $105 million 60-kilowatt laser weapon developed by Lockheed Martin. It was the first permanent laser weapon on a destroyer and can integrate with the ship's advanced Aegis radar and weapons control system. Despite being scalable to a 150-kilowatt rating, Helios would be insufficient to take down hypersonic missiles. It would be insufficient to take down even supersonic missiles. It was determined that taking out supersonic cruise missiles would require at least a 300 kilowatt laser, like the High Energy Laser Counter ASCM program or Hellcap. With the Hellcap terribly insufficient, the Pentagon now aims to develop a weapon more than three times as powerful a 1 megawatt laser weapon that should finally do the job of countering hypersonic missiles, which are designed to withstand 1,000 plus degree temperatures inherent in hypersonic flight. And a 1 megawatt laser weapon isn't too far off either. The Navy already awarded a contract to Northrop Grumman to develop such a weapon. And in July 2022, the company completed a preliminary design of a high energy laser that combines several laser beams into one powerful 1 megawatt ray. This weapon could be the difference between the USS Ford and other American carriers becoming massive vulnerable wastes of billions of dollars or remaining the indomitable most powerful megaships of the US Navy. That is how much of an impact a laser weapon could be in this ongoing silent battle between the US and China. It gifts the US Navy with the power to destroy China's fastest, most advanced missiles in the twinkle of an eye. 
and at the cost of a cup of coffee. And according to experts, each shot would get even cheaper if you subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. So do so now, and thanks for watching.